Hello, welcome to Scrap Time. My name is Christine and in this video I'm going to be showing you the difference between a heat gun and a heat tool. In this video I'm going to talk a bit about the difference in, between the embossing heat tool, this one's from Marvi Uchida, and the Ranger Heat It Craft Tool because people wonder um, what's the difference, do I need both, all that. Now both of these will emboss. I'm going to do an embossing demo in a bit. The difference is the embossing heat tool, you can see here is a smaller spout and it's a direct heat. So it focuses on a spot and it blows a little harder. And it, so I find that if you're doing embossing, the embossing heat tool will do it a lot quicker. The heat it tool will emboss, but it's a larger opening and it's a softer heat and it's more, it diffuses. So I like to use this one for like more when I'm doing mixed media or working with watercolors or that to dry projects because it doesn't have that direct heat that will make everything bubbles. If you heat paint too much, it will bubble in that. Whereas this gives a nice diffused heat. So I think this is perfect for any mixed media project. However, it will still emboss. So, it depends what you're doing. If you're only embossing all the time, I'd probably go with an embossing heat tool because it is a lot quicker. But if you do a lot of mixed media and you only want to buy one tool, then I would buy the Heat It Craft Tool because it's perfect for drying uh, your layers of paints and inks and watercolors and stuff. But I'm going to do a, an embossing demo anyway just so you can see the difference in embossing since this month I'm talking about embossing. So I have a little bird here that I used the other day. I'm still going to use that. And I'm going to use my Versamark um, ink to stamp my bird. I'm using a stamp pad because my table is a little... Uh, it has ridges to it. It's not smooth, so I like to stamp on a smooth surface. I'm going to use the American Craft Zing Silver Embossing Powder just because I have it available out. Now, in the last video, I told you to use your stamp buddy and I forgot, so we'll see the difference because we'll be stamping twice to see how much of that powder ends up sticking to my card. It's not too bad. There's a little there, but it's not that bad on this time. Sometimes it's, you get a lot of powder sticking. I guess it depends how dry your place is and with static and stuff. So I'm gonna place this aside. We're gonna use it again. So we have our stamped image and I'm going to use the embossing heat tool and you're gonna see how quick that this little bird will be embossed. So there we have our embossed bird. So it embossed really quickly. So let's do this again. This time I'm going to use my stamp buddy. Same ink, same powder. So this time we're going to use the diffuser. Now you can already tell that it's quieter. 
and it covers a larger area because the whole is space is uh, bigger just going to turn it like this because it's hot So now it's starting to emboss. So there we have our embossed bird. So it took a little longer. It is still quite hot and does emboss. So here's the thing. It all depends what you do. If you only emboss and you don't do any mixed media and you don't need to dry anything, then go for an embossing tool. However, if you like to use watercolor paints or sprays and you like to dry between layers, then I would recommend the Heat It tool from Ranger because as you see, both of them will emboss the same image. Let me get my other one here. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of understanding the difference between an embossing heat tool and the heated craft tool from Ranger. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to Scrap Time videos on YouTube. In the meantime, here are a few other videos you might be interested in watching. See you next time. Bye bye.